Hey, what's going on, family? It's Lachlan here, and I have a question for you guys. Are you guys tired of seeing that boring old repair screen, which is obviously just the the crafting table interface or inside of your little mini personal crafting interface? Just boring, right? I mean, who wants to see that? I don't. All right, so with the new snapshot, 12W41A, they have introduced anvils. Anvils. Anvil. Anvil. It's just a weird way to... Weird word to say but okay so this is this little guy right here this is what it looks like if you right click it brings up an interface repair and name so you can repair items and you can name your items now which is cool in this that's that's pretty neat so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this first of all it's real simple to make just come over here drop crafting table right there you go one two three one two three just like that and boom done and there you go anvil so now let me show you what it looks like when you repair with this. So we have two golden swords here. So I have this golden sword and I have this golden sword. Now nothing's gonna happen until you try to rename it. So if I rename this, let's say we name it Butter Sword, okay? So we're gonna say, this is what I want this to be. Butter Sword. Okay, so that's Butter Sword right there. Done, look at that, my new Butter Sword. So that's how that works. Now you can repair with this and I'll show you what happens. As you repair with it, it's gonna wear down. So there's three states. There's brand new state, there's slightly worn state, and then there's very badly damaged state. And so after that, it breaks. Okay, so let me show you what it does. If you guys are familiar with the old cartoons like, uh, what is it? The Roadrunner cartoons with the coyote in it. You know, the coyote's always trying to kill Roadrunner. Well, check this out. And he always gets those Acme anvils. That's what he always gets. So if we put this here, watch. Now, depending on the height and how far you put it up, depends on how much damage they'll take that just straight up killed them so that that killed them from that height so that wasn't even that high so yeah you can use that for traps to uh, kill people and in game it'll say so-and-so was killed by an anvil which is kind of funny okay so now over here we have this and I'll show you how this works so when the anvil drops on items on some items they'll completely break the item like for instance before you could drop sand just like this here and the torch would cause the sand to create an item. So we'll grab that. Thank you. Now, if you drop an anvil on the torch, the anvil breaks the torch completely. So now the torch is gone. You've lost that torch. But if you do this over here with a pressure plate, it looks like it's bugged, but it's there. You can see it. For some reason, I don't know where it went. There it is, right there. See? So if you drop it, okay, for instance, you can drop it on pressure plates, boats, spider webs, and the anvil will drop as an item. Uh, like for instance, like torches, you could use uh, rails, power rails, all that stuff. It'll break the item, so it completely destroy the item. So you will not get it back. When you put anvils inside of a dispenser, right click, it just dispenses it. That's all it does. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't put it on the ground for you or nothing like that. So yeah, that's that's roughly about it. And that's how it works. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a neat little implementation to Minecraft. Once again. Uh, it just makes the repair interface better and you can rename your stuff now, which is kind of neat So you can like have the sword of death or butter sword, which I like my butter sword And yeah, that's that's roughly about it you guys So once again, this is the new anvil and it's in snapshot 12 w 41 a Alright guys talk to you later. This has been Lachlan remember stay family strong. I'm out. Bye